Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm actually going to go through a few different techniques I've learned how to remove tempo graphs and removing paint from figures. Some of y'all might be thinking, it's like, why would I need to remove tempo graphs or paint from figures? Some of you won't need to do that. Uh, I'm a little OCD about certain things, and one of the things that really bugs me on uh, Marvel Legends, they put these serial numbers on the legs. And with these techniques, you can actually remove these and not hurt the figure. Some of the techniques I'm going to go through in this video actually. Uh, well, the first one I used to do, used to do is clear nail polish. It uh, actually has some acetone in it. You can use this to remove tampos. This is a newer product I started using for removing tempo graphs. My friend Jason told me about this, and it's good for clean. Plus, it's a bonus, like it cleans your brushes. Gets all, all the paint and acrylics off your old paints off your brushes. Uh, water won't always get your br brushes good and clean, but this will clean them up really well. But you want to make sure... You don't have any of this on your hands before you pick up another figure. You see, it will just, if you just had the slightest little bit of residue on this, it will start melting the paint away. So make sure your hands are clean after you use this stuff. And a third method I'm actually going to use in case uh, if you've painted a figure and you want to strip the paint off, if something happened, you didn't like it, and you want to strip the paint off, there's another product I use. It's um, super clean. You can buy this, I bought this at Walmart. It's pretty cheap, but you want to be very cautious with this. It's very caustic. And you don't want to put, get this on your bare hands. So I recommend wearing rubber gloves when you're using that stuff. Which I have some laying out here for that. To show off that method, I actually have a gun from G.I. Joe Classified's Duke that I painted silver. So I replaced his gun with a Valiverse uh, weapons pack. So I just want to throw some paint on this, show you how to remove the paint. And I'll actually show some samples of that too. But this requires for the parts to soak for a while. And the Super Clean is pretty uh, safe on most plastics. I have yet to have any issues with the plastics I've cleaned off. Now all the action figures I've ever cleaned, stripped paint off of. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, soak this in Super Clean while I'm showing the other techniques. So we get this fixed up. Put this to the side. Let that start soaking. First technique is one of the oldest ones I've, I've used to remove tempo graphs is the clear nail polish. With the clear, clear nail polish, you will get you a clean Q-tip and take a little bit of the nail polish and paint over the area you want to remove the paint from. Also need to clean up a sprue mark here, but that's for later. That's it. And there you go. You see it wipes the tempo graph right off. Just make sure to get all the nail polish off. Dissolves that completely off there. It's nice and clean. There's no more numbers. And uh, just a repeat. I'll just... Show on the Punisher figure. And there. And it wipes right away. As you have no more markings on your figure. The brush cleaner works very similar method. You dab your a clean Q-tip. These Venom part, these movie Venom parts are actually my, my friend Jason's that told me about this brush cleaner method. I uh, put together one dark heart for them and I'm put, fixing up another one. So I want to move these dark, uh, tempo graphs before I do any more, more work on the figure. I have the figure tore down and you want to just dip your Q-tip into the Solution and you want to wipe, and there goes the tampos. It goes, takes them right off. And after you get the tampos off, you want to take a paper towel and wipe it down. 
get the excess off because you don't want to leave this stuff on here. This is pretty potent stuff. It can dissolve the plastic if you're not careful. But it removes all the tampo grass. I feel this stuff does a little bit if your tempo grass are a little thicker base, like these white ones on the on the movie Venom, it does a little better job than the just the nail polish. The nail polish still will work. Let's go ahead to use the nail polish on this one. You want to make sure you get all nail polish back off. Uh, and it actually did really well about removing the tampons as well. Like I said, just have to make sure you get everything out of the crevices. Yeah. Easy peasy. We'll go over it with the brush cleaning solution. One quick little wait. Everyone may not have access to be able to get this stuff, but it is, it removes the tempo grass so easily. But I would assume just about anybody should be able to get some clear nail polish and that does makes quick work of the tampos as well I'm just gonna go ahead to hit it with a little bit of super clean just to make sure all that brush cleaner is off and there we go. Nice clean uh, forearm to work with. I'll repeat repeat this process and remove all the tempo grass off the figure. Now that's one thing about removing paint too. Um, it's a good thing to learn because no, long, no matter how long you've been doing custom work, accidents happen, mistakes happen, and Oh, you can easily get discouraged if you screw up the paint on your figure. Uh, I've been doing custom work for a long time. I had this almost completely finished. The, fin the skin tones, had the de the shading, everything. Then I had a bad batch of clear, and it just ruined the paint. And I had to strip this back down and start over. And I used the Super Clean to remove all the, pa the bad paint and start to get back to where cleaned up and primed again so if you have accidents with paint just just don't get discouraged most things can be fixed okay let's see let's get some gloves on check on our pistol I have big hands and these are kind of little small gloves so let's let's try this All right, now let's get check the status on the on the gun. Oh, look there! Don't even have to do anything to it. Super clean, dissolve that silver paint. That was acrylic, Tamiya silver acrylic. Tamiya, Tamiya, Tamiya. Yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> and. Uh, what little time I've been showing here, this I didn't skip through this. It dissolved every bit of that silver paint off the off the gun. Because this stuff will pretty potent stuff. So, like I said, always wear rubber gloves when you're dealing with this if you're going to have your hands in it. But, there we go. It's like new again. I've actually used the Super Clean to restore some. Uh, vintage He-Man figures that a friend of mine got in a collection. When he got this collection, a lot of toys and stuff were very well taken care of, but these Motu, uh, these original Master Universe figures, 
The ar battle armor and stuff looks like it was taken off immediately when they were bought brand new back in 1982 and put in a packaging because there was not a single mark, or play mark, uh, wear mark on that armor and weapons for those figures. But the, uh, the guy who originally owned them when he was a kid, he painted bloody like battle damage onto the figures. The um, like he, uh, bloody scars, nicks, and cuts. Other than that, the figures were pristine. The the, the, the toys were never played with after he put the blood, bloody uh, battle damage on them. I was able to soak those figures in super clean and take that 30 year old paint off those figures and make them look pristine brand new again. I was really surprised how well I was a little worried about the, the soft rubber on the He-Man he heads and that this took the paint, that uh, old paint and left the factory tampo. That's one good thing about the super clean. It won't affect the tampo graphs like this gold paint here. But it will, it will remove enamels, lacquers, the acrylics. It will dissolve it in no time whatsoever. Well, that's all for this tutorial. Uh, thank you for taking the time to watch it. I hope this helps some of you guys that's been trying to figure out how to remove these tampo grass off figures. Uh, if you like stuff like this, let me know. Like, share, subscribe. I'll catch you all next time.